wedding means so much and there's been so much work and planning and preparation that's gone into this day but what I love more than like beautiful weddings is strong marriages and I am incredibly proud of the marriage that you are going after. You're the toughest person I know, yet you're the most compassionate and kind-hearted person I know. You're the hardest working person I know, yet you're the most cheerful and energetic person I know. You're the most beautiful woman in the world, yet you care more about a complete stranger on the side of the road or someone that cleans your office than you care about yourself. I promise to keep your big compassionate heart safe from the rest of the world. I promise to guard it and protect it and to always reciprocate the love that you give me and to fill any gaps with my own love and compassion for you when it's lacking. I can't wait to see where your big heart takes you and I feel so lucky it's taken you to me. It is a privilege and honor to be part of your story. Like, we are so excited for you. And so, by the powers vested in me, by the state, but also the bigger powers invested in me by, by God, Amen. it is my privilege and honor to be able to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we turn this way. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to be able to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. McKinley Duke.
and what advice for the new married couple? Uh, find a hobby to where you guys can go do your own thing and be in a for four hours and not give a shit. McKinley learned to just shake your head and say yes. Take too much advantage of him because he may let you do anything. But those two keys lead to a happy, successful marriage. Love you guys. Bye. Love one another. Trust one another. And have fun with it. I have fun with everything I do. You guys have fun with it.